Uh, the camera zooms in and you can see the underside, the rain shaft there to the right, the storm producing tennis ball size hail in the area. So you're in what we call the whale's mouth back there. The storm's already kind of pushed on through and you're in the uh, in the stable air uh, behind this thing. But all the action's going on off toward the east, which brings us to this morning's weather wisdom. Every day at 50 past the hour, we open our weather classroom doors and answer your questions, which have been fantastic, by the way, so keep them coming. Today's question comes in from Michael. He wants to know, and this one came in yesterday, actually during this show, uh, this, this end of the show. What is a supercell? Great question, Michael. He uh, texted that, uh, or Instagram, or tweeted that, I should say, to Jen, Steph, and I. And so yesterday we had tons of supercells. And you're probably saying, well, why didn't we have tons of tornadoes? because not all supercells, which are simply rotating thunderstorms, produce tornadoes. And if I asked you what percentage of supercells produce tornadoes, you'd probably say, oh, it's gotta be at least half or maybe 75%. It's only 20%, 20% of supercells produce tornadoes. So the atmosphere definitely tells us where we're gonna go, but a supercell is simply a rotating thunderstorm. Even with yesterday's hail producers, you had a hook. You had that structure, the anvil, the bird wings in through here. So let's kind of break this down and stretch this supercell out. These things can be huge, 30, 40, 50,000 feet. Yesterday in the Northeast, they had low top supercells of maybe 20,000 feet. And we may have to see, we may have gotten a tornado out of one of those near Tom's River yesterday. But anyway, this supercell here, in this case, is made up of different parts. And it's really, all the game is being played, what's happening in through here, whether you get a tornado or not. How strong is that RFD, that rear flank down drag? Does it come in here and just kind of gut this whole thing and occlude it out quickly? It can happen. How much dry air is being entrained in the mid-levels of the supercell? That may give you more of a hail-dominated supercell, which is kind of what we had yesterday. But either way, large, large structures like this that don't always produce tornadoes, but you can bet with supercells, you're more than likely going to get some type of severe weather. All right, what weather do you want to gain some weather about? Weather wisdom, I should say, about. Send us your questions on social media, either by tagging AMHQ or using the hashtag weatherwisdom, and we will answer them every day at 50 past the hour.